First game up here on the slate, the Houston Rockets visit my Philadelphia 76ers. The Sixers, huge favorites here tonight, minus 13 and a half points at home, minus 900 on the money line. The total sits at 226 and a half, and Chris and I have the same bet. And Chris, do you want to talk about it, or should I go first? Uh, I guess I'll talk about it first, although you could probably offer more about this since I'm in a whirlwind of Super Bowl situational news right now but um yeah i like this spot and i'm finally going to go in tandem with you alex for the houston rockets in the first half i mean plus eight first of all that that's a lot of points right for any team to cover in the first half but especially i would argue a 76ers team who you talk about a sandwich spot right they just had a nice win against the nets a uh, big win on saturday now they have the cavaliers right ahead of them this week um which which i think the the Cavaliers might beat the 76ers. They're playing really well right now, too. So just two way more important games for the 76ers. Classic sandwich spot for, you know, a, a game against a team they probably don't care about as much. It's also that time of the year, right? And this might be something I say a lot this week. I think we have to be really careful about betting on these inflated favorites, right? The all-star break is coming. Everybody's tired. Everybody's looking forward to that all-star break. 76ers have been playing some fantastic basketball but maybe we see a little bit of a rejuvenated Houston Rockets team. Um, you, you know, they made a few trades. A few things happened, obviously, in the marketplace last week. But now they know who they're going to have moving forward. Um, you know, no more Eric Eric Gordon, I think, makes a big difference. But I think this is a young team, exciting team, that can at least keep things interesting tonight against the 76ers, who, again, probably don't care as much. So first half plus eight for, we have to say, Alex, one of the best ATS teams in the NBA, the Houston Rockets, in the first half. I'll take it. Yeah, first half, Rockets plus eight, I'll take again. Would always would rather this be a home game for the Rockets. But like you said, this is a very strange schedule spot. The Sixers play Houston tonight and then have back-to-back -back national TV games hosting the Cavaliers and the Grizzlies. Now, I'm not necessarily making this bet just because Embiid might rest tonight. But boy, oh boy, if there was ever a night to give the guy off, it would probably be tonight in preparation for those two games. Even if Embiid's in, I had this number close to six. Again, Houston hasn't been as good on the road, but I've been playing solid basketball on the road the last month or so. I was really heartened by that close game in Miami. They were able to achieve their goal of losing while also apparently having had a really good co-21st birthday party the night before. It's nice to see a young team rally like that. So I'll take the Rockets here, first half plus eight here. Ski, what did you think of this game? Uh, well, I'm going to be going with the total on this one, and I'll start with the system, and it pretty much just says the amount of points that the home team um, – is averaging uh, plus the amount of points that the opponent is allowing at, you know, on the road is way greater than the total that we're looking at today, greater than by double digits. So it's saying that this total is pretty low for a reason. And I just think that speaks to Houston. They were terrible. They couldn't stop anybody. Then their coach was on, you know, in the post game conference crying about them not playing any defense. And they seemed to uh, respond in a way where you know you see them at least trying and getting a little bit better they're giving up 153 points i think to uh, I, I forget who 153 points then 140 points then it's 130 then that game that you just mentioned versus miami i think they only um allowed 97 points so if they can keep up that effort and you combine that with the a sixers team who's pretty solid defensively and is playing at the slowest pace in the league the last five games i like it to stay under the total of 226 and a half um, it's come down a couple of points, I think, from the opener and for good reason. Yeah, I like that bet as well. So um, two bets here for Chris and I on the first half. We'll take the Rockets plus eight. Ski also likes the under here, 226 and a half points. 